Hi there, Don Spillane, President of Designing Financial Solutions. Introducing the essentials of long-term care, the effect on employers, and offering some solutions. The measures used to assess a person's need for long-term care. And it basically comes down to having difficulties with bathing, dressing, toileting, continence, transferring, that's getting in and out of bed or getting in and out of a wheelchair, eating, or cognitive impairment. So let's look at some of the differences between healthcare and long-term care. You'll see in bold in the center of the chart one of the key points. Healthcare is about being made well again. It's restorative in nature. When you go into the hospital, they're looking to cure you. Long-term care is a maintenance and or supportive in nature deal. On the healthcare, you're cured in a relatively short period of time. Long-term care, not curable. It's likely to affect the individual until death. So one is short-term and one is until death. One is paid for by public and private insurance. Medicare certainly doesn't cover long-term care. Let's look at the risk of needing long-term care. In 2010, nearly 57 million individuals, about 18-19% of the civilians in the US population, reported at least one disabling condition. More than 50% of those disabled Americans are in their working years from aged 18 to 64. Between the ages of 40 and 50, on average, 8%, that's over 4 million people, have a disability that could require long-term care. So let's have a look at some facts on working caregivers. 43.5 million workers juggle a caregiving role with working. 22% of working caregivers are middle-aged. 13% are aged 18 to 29. 10 million caregivers over 50 lose an estimated $3 trillion in wages, pensions, retirement funds and benefits. It's a tough life for a working caregiver. So we've seen the effect on a caregiver. Now let's look at the lost productivity and financial losses to employers. 25.2 billion in lost productivity annually. That's a lot. Caregiving reduces work productivity by 18.5% and increases the likelihood of leaving the workplace, meaning you've got to recruit and retrain at all those costs. 30% of caregivers reported missing 6.6 .6 or more workdays in the past year. So we've seen the effect on businesses. Now let's look at the adjustment working caregivers have to make to their jobs. 70% report work-related difficulties. 49% had to rearrange their schedules. Arrive late, leave early, have time off. 6% gave up work entirely. 5% turned down a promotion or took on reduced hours. 4% took an early retirement. 3% lose benefits. So just think of this in terms of your employees and the productivity. And you can see this is a huge problem. So we've seen some of the effects on uh, productivity and difficulties in the workplace. Now let's look at the length of time that that may go on. The average duration of caregiving is four years. 24% have provided caregiving for five years or more. 15% have provided caregiving for 10 years or more. So think of that in relationship to your employees who are taking care of people and working. And the average is four years. Best practices for employers. Value job performance versus looking at them as a lack of commitment. 
allow workplace flexibility. Install no-fault absenteeism where possible. Provide education and training to the management team. Offer elder care support and resources. Access to health counsellors and advisors. It's difficult to treat employees differently from everybody else. But in some cases, you just have to allow humanity to come into the picture. And here's one of the best employer practices of all. And we'll talk about the multi-life long-term care program in a moment. Multi-life is the preferred program for employers. Multi-life is a form of group insurance with less restrictions. And there's only one company issuing group insurance in the United States today. And because it's so rigid, it's not really a practical program anymore. So Multilife has now become the leader in this field. Uh, for C-Corps, long-term care premiums are tax deductible to the employer. And the employee benefits are tax-free. Multilife are small group long-term care plans using individual contracts. Premium discount and simplified underwriting, but no guaranteed issue, which was the old group plan you had guaranteed issue. That's no longer the case, but it is simplified underwriting. Just a few questions. And here's some more on multi-life. Flexible coverage for spouse, parents, in-laws, siblings and adult children. Flexible. Benefits are generous. Uh, they do have a cap, but they're generous. If you lose or leave your job, you keep your contract. Same premium, same benefits. Age, income, size of group and nature of business are important qualifiers for issue. And I should add it's important to deal with a specialist in long-term care on all of these issues. Thank you for watching. Contact us for more information and a free one-hour consultation.